Welcome back to A20. In this short video, we want to discuss length contraction. We want to actually derive length contraction. And we do this with an experiment. The question is, how long is Bob's spacecraft? And the experiment is conducted by taking two pictures. It's illustrated here. The first picture is when Alice's and Bob's spacecraft just start to meet. Um, Bob's relative to Alice's is moving with a velocity v. And we take the second picture when the back of Bob's uh, spacecraft is meeting the front of Alice's, just like it's shown here. And the pictures, you know, take pictures of clocks. So in the first picture, we, we see Alice's clock show a TA1 and Bob's TB1. And for the second equivalently, we see TA2 and TB2. So your task is now to express the length of Bob's spacecraft uh, for uh, as Alice sees this from these pictures, and as Bob does see it from his own pictures, um, by comparing the time and the velocity. So pause the video and try to work this out. So I did this here for you. We calculate um, the length. We can do this with the velocity, and it's simply the product of the velocity and the time difference in the pictures as shown uh, at those two clocks. We see this for Alice and we see this for Bob. And now we can start to compare. For Bob, Alice now is moving. Um, so the time difference in Alice's um, clock will be smaller by one over gamma compared to what Bob sees in his own clocks. So for Bob says, or Bob says, your clock is slow. Um, so we can use this. We can then calculate um, the length of the spacecraft um, as Alice sees it, uh, equal to V times delta TA. And we just use the time dilation here in this equation, and we find that the lengths are actually not the same. The length as Alice sees this is 1 over gamma times the length as Bob sees this of the very same spacecraft. So the lengths of the spacecraft are not the same as seen by Alice and seen by Bob. Now here you have to see that in this example, what I just did, is I changed around who's moving and who's resting. So here the observation of Alice of Bob's spacecraft is that of a moving spacecraft. So Alice sees a moving spacecraft, which is shorter than the spacecraft itself at length, at, at rest. So how can we resolve this? Um, Alice will argue that the two clocks Bob used are actually not synchronized. And uh, if you paid a lot of attention, you see that I'm actually not looking at the same clock. I'm having, I had a look at the clock at the beginning of the spacecraft and at the end of the spacecraft. And while they're synchronized for Bob, they're not synchronized for Alice. Who's right? Both are right. They're just observing events or sequences events with two different reference frames. 